Hi, my name is Sean. I'm a pin setter mechanic. I'm certified to work on Brunswick AA2 and Jetback pin setters. It's been a long time, but we're back. Finally got uh, all the stuff worked out on my end. And yeah, so first video back is we're going to, uh, we're gonna do something fun. This happened over the weekend or something, something like that. The moving deck, the moving deck, uh, cam follower for the moving deck cam follower shaft bolt. I was tightening those and then, uh, well, then a couple frames later on another, after it was sold, it snapped and it broke the, uh, the plate that holds everything together. So we're going to have to change it out on 22 and do all that sorts of fun stuff. Got a new toy. Works out pretty all right. Took a little bit to figure it out, but works pretty good. So now we're just gonna work on getting the machine apart and get that old plate off so we can uh, slap that new one on. So let's get started. And then the problem is, oh, oh, and we ran it like that for a bit. Oh. That's <laughs> terrifying. Oh my god, it just comes and slides right out. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's scary. Okay. So anyways, where this uh, where this sits through on the plate here on the one-to-one, -one, yeah, the bolt that holds it to the gearbox broke and the whole thing went up and bent the shit out of that plate. That plate is in a weird place and it bent in instead of out. That area is almost impossible to try and bend it back. Every time we try to bend it, it's this that it tries to bend or anything else that we try to put a crowbar to. So there's no way in hell that we can bend it back. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to change it out. And to do that, there's going to be a lot of things done. Probably not done in proper sequence. But, that's okay. Because with me and my grandpa knowing what the fuck we're doing, it will get done and it'll... It'll run proper by the time we get done. But I know they say that the detector needs to come off at 90 degrees. Well, that's not happening. Everything is going to be right here at 270. Everything's going to be done here at 270. So everything's going to come off here at 270 degrees. And it just when I take the detector off, everything's just going to have to make sure it stays like that gear, make sure that the disc and everything does not turn when I take it off. And if it does, then I'm gonna have to make sure that I check it five times when it goes back on and make sure I have it lined back up with that 270 degree mark. I don't like doing it like that, but this is where it seems like it'll be the easiest and everything will be out of the way. So there's gonna be a lot of adjustments required after that. The rake, all the de necessary detector adjustments. Um, some deck cable adjustments and all that other shit. So it'll, it's gonna be a process, but it's unfortunately what we're gonna have to do. Yep. Yeah, well the deck cable's off, the control cable's gonna have to come off. But I have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna need to, cause I'm taking the detector off here at 270. I know that's not right, but. Well, as long as you don't move it. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. So. I'm gonna go put that belt out real quick. All right, well, I don't think there's much things I can do to get into that much trouble. Um, There's no way in hell this is gonna go back together today, is there? Okay, well then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna paint this. I 
I just feel so bad for the machine because it's like, why are you taking me apart here? And I'm like, because I have to. <laughs> and yes, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people. It's like, why did you take it out here? You could have done this. And uh, that I want to say, you're right. I absolutely could have. I am well aware of how these machines work. It's just sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. That short shaft is still bolted in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now that's some high quality H2O. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go, bud. I don't know what I flung off. But uh actually I do know. Uh this is a spring for the scissor cam follower. Oh god. Whoop. Open bowlers and their personal balls. You know, there's some of them that take care of them. But most of them go and get on cheap plastic balls. And just don't take care of them. I said this during the brake adjustment, but just kind of say it again. Always be careful when loosening these butts, these bolts in particular. Because this cam edge is sharper than shit. Oh no, I don't know what to do anymore. I've already, I already know that I'm gonna have to do the rake adjustment, the detector rod adjustment. I don't know where my mallet is. Oh, it's right in front of my face. So much easier than the other one. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. We got parts. We got the parts off. Um, cleaned, painted them. So now today is all about putting shit back together. And we got our nice new clean. Now oh, I did it. Nice, clean new plate on well not new used not bent <laughs> not bent new plate so now we're just gonna continue on with putting new shit on has anybody else had to do this shit or has anyone or has everyone else been like oh yeah it's bent let me just go get my big unbending stick and uh, we'll be good to go well that's in the oil pan now I guess it wouldn't hurt to empty this there's nothing more inconvenient than being on top of the machine and then dropping shit. I'm so glad that there's a key on here so that way it's like there's only one way to put this on. It's like yes sir. Something tells me this is going to be fun. I need to grab my STP. STP so that way I can uh, way I can lube my shaft up. <laughs> I 
I may have just turned 23, but I'm still a child. Oh man, look how nice that went on. Now here's the tricky part. No, never mind. Getting my clean stuff all dirty. Huh? Me? I know I'm not cussing yet. There's no need to at the moment. Well, my stuff's dirty. No. Well, my left hand's retarded, so. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, now before I get this cam on, I think I want to do all the little accessories, or at least the the scissor cam follower. Where the fuck does this mount? Goes like that. Figured it out. I haven't had to take one off before. I don't want to use it. It looks too pretty. <laughs> that has to be close. That's all I really need. Okay, the, the spring is down on the shaker board. All this sh shit is down. The X washer pins are all down there. Now we back. I think the detector is next. I know, I'm not. I'm trying. Okay. Oh God, I'm good. <laughs> right in the hole, lined up, nothing moved. This detector has not been off since. Well, it was put on. February 12th, 2021. I actually have gotten pretty lazy at doing the detectors after I got back from the school. That was my jam. Putting detect taking off detectors, cleaning them, rebuilding them, this, that, and the other. That was my jam, man. And then after I did like, let's see, I started that in 20, Twenty nineteen, and for the first, you know, 2019 and then 2020 after some of 2020 and then I didn't do anything while everything was shut down came back and did a couple more and then since then it's just kind of been like oh, I 
guess whichever one needs them. I got the whole low end done, that was my goal. So low end's done. And then I think all the way up to 17. Seven, 17. 17 done. And then 21, 22 were done because they needed it. And then 25 needed it, so I might as well. But yeah, there's. Oh, and I think 31, 31's is done too. But yeah, it's, it was it was fun at first, and then it just became tedious. But I want to get back into doing it because it was fun, and it's nice to see a finished product. Just like doing this. This is really nice to look at. It was a pain in the ass to get apart and this, that, and the other. But God, it's just so it's so visually appealing. And you're like, God damn, that's pretty. That's what it should look like, you know? Instead, no, it looks like that and the rest of the gearbox and the rest of the machine. Well, Go ahead and just put new cables on at least top one new top cable because i remember seeing on there that there's a part that's like frayed so yeah all right i don't think anything else up here needs to be done i think it's all down below now actually i might hand you here i'm gonna hand you something I know. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, looped part goes on the bottom right here. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't hear it hit anything else. It still exists. <laughs> Don't headbutt the fucking deck hook. Ow. It gives, but not enough. I mean, if you want to take that chance we just I mean this is a new detector rod because the other one that was on it got snapped in three pieces <laughs> okay all right so everything back together uh, now it's time we're gonna jog it through and we're gonna kind of go through and see what adjustments need to be done I've already done the detector rod because we kind of needed that to we needed that right to get the scissor cables back on change out the scissor cable the upper scissor cable and the uh, turnbuckle so detector rods good this should be fine because I never undid that but we're gonna jog it through. I think I think the only thing I'm gonna really have to move is the uh, the rake cam. Other than that, though, I think everything else is gonna be good. But we'll find out. Famous last words, right? Never mind. Scissor cam's not right. I mean, the detector rod's not right. It's trying to fucking detect. Why is it trying to? There's the, uh, well, oh wait, son of a bitch. So, 
why was it trying to say there's a fucking standing pin? Oh, you fucking bitch. Another friend. Oh no, I know why, because I adjusted it at the wrong fucking place. It's supposed to be 90 degrees strike. Not standing pins, you fucking tard. Hey! Hey, real quick! When adjusting the between the second and third row, is that on the way forward or backwards? Backwards? Okay. It's the closest I've seen. I think it needs to go up just a smidgen more, but that's pretty fucking close. Day and a half, two days of work. And here we are. Half of a pretty one to one. <laughs> um, I mean, the one thing though is when I, the detector was one tooth off and it made things a little weird. So I did have to unbolt it and take this off and this and pop it out just a smidge and put that one tooth in to put it back in. And it lines up, lines up now. But before it was, the one tooth does make a difference surprisingly. But that was the only hiccup really. And then my stupid ass uh, adjusting the detector wrong, the detector rod wrong. Other than that, the only real adjustment I had to do was detector rod and the rake cam. And other than that, though, everything was everything was pretty easy. And having that big ass hydraulic puller helped get it off. Um, yeah, they were good. Things back up and running, and we're good to go. So this would be. This is the first video back with the adjustment videos besides the tournament videos I just did. But this is the first machine back in like a month, month and a half for the machines. So let's see what else we can do and get our hands dirty with. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Requests, please leave them in the comments below. I would really like to make videos that y'all would want to see. I have a small list going and 
as soon as you know the opportunity arises I will keep getting I will move through that list but I'm still collecting requests so please leave those uh, if you feel like sharing the video that would be cool and other than that I will see you guys in the next video bye